Christmas Eve today and I'm at home you're probably confused by the background in Iceland in my childhood bedroom getting ready for Christmas stunning you can probably tell my brothers change a lot around here there's mostly just his camera stuff in here this is like a studio now it's not really my bedroom anymore so in Iceland I feel like it's the same with all like Nordic countries the 24th is the main event that's the day when we open all the presents we have a really nice dinner we dress up open the presents after dinner and then on the 25th you might do like a dinner with your extended family or like a lunch or something but the 24th is the main thing it always feels a bit weird to be back to be honest I feel like people who don't live in in their hometown will relate or like not in their home country even it always kind of feels like nothing's changed and everything's the same but also i feel like i've missed a lot if that makes any sense at all by the way do you guys want to see my setup right now you're literally balanced on candles and toilet paper and this is my mirror <laughs> but anyway so tonight i want my makeup to look really good we usually dress up quite a bit for christmas eve my grandma comes over we have dinner and then after dinner we open presents and then usually after the presents we will change into pajamas or something 
my skin's been so dry since i came here because of the cold so i really hope i can make this work this foundation is quickly becoming one of my favorites like look at this so good let me tell you a bit more about icelandic christmas traditions so yesterday was Thorlaksmasa, which is the day before christmas eve on Thorlaksmasa, basically you just get ready for christmas a lot of people go last minute shopping we live right in the city center of Reykjavik, so basically just down the road is like where all the people go shopping the stores are open really late and everyone just kind of goes around buying last minute presents and it's really cute and fun and then a lot of people eat a specific fish which is really disgusting it's called skata i don't know what it's called in english i asked my brother and he said it was called skata but i don't i don't believe him i think he's lying to me it's basically like a really flat fish and it's made in a weird way so it smells so bad and i've never tried it actually but a lot of people go to parties eat that pat out the creases set with powder i think the point of it is so that people will like actually enjoy their christmas dinner more by having something kind of disgusting on the 23rd we usually just have like a normal fish that we actually like although my dad has had the skata a few times but then we usually make him eat it on the balcony because it smells so disgusting in iceland we also have 13 santa clauses kind of and basically 13 days before christmas are so from the 11th till the 24th kids will put like their shoes in the windowsill and then and the Santa Clauses come every single night and give them like a little present in the shoe. Basically, if you've been bad, if you haven't been good, you'll get a potato in your shoe. I can very proudly say I don't think I ever got a potato in my shoe. But the Santa Clauses are a bit mischievous as well. I don't know who gave them the right to judge. They do different things. So for example, there's one called like Hrdaskettli, which means door slammer. He basically goes around and like slams doors in your houses when you're sleeping. And then there's one called Kjetkrogur, which basically means that he has a little hook and he like steals people's meat like food weird but worst of all is their mother santa claus's mother her name is grilla she's like a troll woman basically and if you're really bad like you you've been really bad you've gotten plenty of potatoes she will come and take you to the mountains and eat you like actually eat you lips lip oil i'm gonna go help my mom with the cooking and then i will be back once i've done my hair and my outfit and show you the finish look all right this is the finished makeup hair and this is my dress and then i don't have on any shoes because i'm at home so why would i wear heels bye and merry christmas